you have said that this is a huge fundamental break right. with the way we've done things in the past, mm -hmm. right. historically, up to this moment. Meaning what? Throughout history, we could never actually coerce someone to reveal information. Torture doesn't work that well. Persuasion doesn't work that well. The right to say no and the right to keep one's thoughts locked up in their brain is amongst the most fundamental rights of being human. It is the absolute right of refusal. I will not cooperate. What about uh, sodium pentothal, those kinds of things? None of those truth serums work very well. That's why you don't hear so much about them. If they really worked well, everybody would be using them. We wouldn't have to worry about whether people are telling the truth or not. We do not have an accurate lie detector. You're saying this really does have the capacity to be a foolproof lie detector, it eventually. Might. We uh, don't know. But that's the road that it looks like we're on. But it's not just lie detection. It's other kinds of information, too. Let me give you an example. Um, we know which part of the brain lights up when you read. So let's say we capture someone and they say, I don't speak Arabic, I don't read Arabic, you got the wrong guy. We can actually put them in a, a, a brain imaging machine, flash words in different languages in front of them, and see which ones their brain lights up and, and we'll know what languages they can read. Whether they like it or not, and whether they cooperate or not, as long as we can keep their eyes open.